Hello and welcome to Greg Tech from Scratch episode 4. I'm Adderald and today I will be exploring Greg Tech multi blocks. In Greg Tech, you build multi blocks by using casings. There are three types standard, reinforced, and advanced, each of which is more expensive than the last. And um, machines will tell you exactly what cases they need to be built. Now, let's look at the industrial grinder. The industrial grinder is uh, Greg, Te Greg Tech's idea of a macerator which additionally produces some uh, extra output for example if we take a look at iron we'll see that as usual you get two iron dust but also tiny piles of uh, one tiny pile of tin dust and one tiny pile of nickel dust and other ores produce um, also some additional output um, so, how to build it? If you look at the interface on the left side, you'll see this, uh, this here. Uh, the light blocks correspond to standard machine casings, and there are nine of them in a 3x3 three three formation, so that's what we're going to build right now. Um, the second level has dark blocks, eight of them around a blue block. That means eight reinforced casings around one water source. Let's build that. And additionally, in the second level, you get the green block that refers to this machine itself, the one we're looking at. And we're supposed to place it on the second level outside. So that's what we're doing. This is the second level, and there's, that's where we're placing the machine. The third level is exactly like the first level, nine standard casings in a 3x3 uh, three three pattern. So let's do that, and once I place the last block, this red pulsating icon will turn into a green one, signifying that it works. And if we put some uh, recipe inside, like box it and water, um, it'll start processing. Now, water you can supply either with um, water cells or capsules, or you can just pump it in, and you'll see that water starts accumulating in the bottom slot. Uh, for recipes like um, this one that doesn't require water but mercury, let's say you got a grinder that has water stored inside already. Well, if you put the cells, uh, mercury cells is going to prioritize the mercury cells, so it's going to use them before it starts using the water. So keep that in mind. Um, a cool thing about these uh, multi block structures is that you can reuse the casings. So there you have it. I have two machines that can both work independently of each other because I'm reusing all, all the casings. Uh, next multi-block machine is the industrial blast furnace, which has some important recipes. It can um, make three iron out of one ore. That's good. It also makes chrome, titanium, steel um, out of refined iron and coal dust. Makes aluminium and hot tungsten steel ingot. Now, as if you look at down here you'll see this setting that's called heat capacity that's how much heat it needs to, pr to um, for this recipe to work the maximum heat capacity of any of these recipes is 3000 3, and if you want to build uh, your blast furnace so it can uh, basically smelt everything you're gonna you're gonna want to build it like this well first you look at the interface here there's four levels and you would think that you only use standard casings but actually you can mix the casings. So to get the best uh, temperature you want to use 10 standard machine casings which you can put in any order you like and then the rest you want to use reinforced machine casings. And you want to put lava in the middle. Now if you look at the interface, your heat capacity is just 2000. Uh, to get it up to 3000, what you need to do is to craft yourself some canthal heating coils 
and some nichrome heating coils. And then you simply uh, equip your canthal coils and right click on the machine and you equip your nichrome coils and you right click and now you should be up to 3000. That's how you get that temperature. Uh, alternatively, you could use uh, advanced casings and less coils, but um, you know I, I only know this combination. Um, of course, you can reuse um, the casings, but uh, you'll need to uh, add coils to each of the blast furnaces if you want them to be to have a higher um, heat capacity. So, moving on, we have the distillation tower which if you look at the recipes can turn some cells into some other cells. To build it, just look at the interface, you need uh, first level nine casings in a 3x3 three three pattern, then eight advanced casings with a hole in the middle, then eight base uh, standard casings and eight advanced casings and then nine standard so let's just build it in one go and should work and there you have it and you just put the recipes in and give it power and it should work. And now it's processing. Next machine it's the industrial sawmill which makes more planks out of wood plus it gives you wood pulp. And I guess you can also make get sticky resin out of rubber and a lot of wood pulp. And you build it like this. First level would be eight uh, standard machine casings with one reinforced one, I think, in the middle. And that should be it. There you go. And you can just put wood inside, rubber wood, for example. No, not rubber wood. Um, oh, and it needs, it needs water as well. So I'm guessing you can pump it in as well or use cells and then it's just gonna process it. Uh, two more machines, we have the implosion compressor which is mainly used for iridium and can also turn some dusts into the um, um, you know into the non-dusty version of that item like emerald dust to emeralds um, gives you dark ashes as well so how do you build it? On the fourth level the machine itself, but um, then third level would be five reinforced casings in a cross pattern and then standard casings on the corners second level eight reinforced casings um, in a circle and then the first level would be the same as the third level which is a cross of reinforced casings plus some standard casings on the corners and there you have it so now it should work since I'm giving it energy just need some iridium alloy ingots and some industrial TNT and there you go it makes a lot of noise since you're using TNT and makes you iridium plates that's what you're probably gonna use it most for uh, finally we have the vac vacuum freezer you build it like this, 8 reinforced casings around an advanced machine casing second level um, 4 advanced in a cross pattern but empty in the middle and then on the corners some reinforced casings and the first level is exactly as the third level so one advance um, casing in the middle and then reinforced casings all around so that should work and what does it do? it can 
cool down coolant cells as you can see plus it can also make tungsten, tungsten steel ingot out of hot tungsten steel ingot uh, makes ice cells out of water cells and turns helium plasma cells into helium cells so those are the recipes not a lot but some of them are pretty useful uh, all of these machines you can see the energy consumption just by hovering over them and um, those are all the multi-block structures in uh, Grectech except for the fusion reactor which I'll um, do in another episode I hope you enjoyed watching and see you next time